So once again, I am here to talk about piles of shame and skirmish games. Now, as you can see, I have obtained some things from mini Miniature Market while they were doing their uh, their last big sale, and I want to say I picked up each one of these boxes for anywhere between two dollars to eight dollars a piece, including some of the bigger boxes. Now, I normally would not pick up just a random assortment of miniatures like this sight unseen, but I like the look of the the Asian style miniatures, especially uh, the ones that look like Oni and or demons and or samurai of some sort, even in some ins instances, cyberpunk samurai. I... Um, couldn't help myself on picking up the book as well. I, I don't think I'll ever actually get this game to the table. It seems like it's a dead game, but the artwork is incredible. It's it's a cool mini or not game, a Simon game. Um, I'm not sure what happened with it. I don't know whether it was just uh, the mechanics or just failed to gain popularity or whatnot, but. I really like the look of these models, and uh, even sight unseen, I decided to just go all in. Now, my reasoning for buying these miniatures is I've picked up a couple of uh, miniature agnostic games, uh, including one that looks very promising for me, and that is Rain in Hell. Uh, it's It was designed by Adam Loper and Vince Venturella, and... Um, I decided, you know, why not? Let's check it out. So, originally, I had actually picked up just this one box here, just the uh, the Shale Han for Wrath of Kings, uh, because of the fact that they had the uh, the more Asian, uh, Chinese, and Japanese type look to them. Um, you know, some of the units look like Oni or demons and whatnot. So, initially. Um, I was just going to make my entire uh, demon army from just that box. But a few more things went on sale. So what I've decided is that I'm going to use the Pelagarth box uh, from House Nasir. And I'm also going to use uh, one of the Oni women from the Shale Han. And uh, the Oni is going to be my leader and the uh, devout demon is going to be the Pelagarth. If I decide to expand, I may use these guys as well. Uh, but for now, I'm going to make a team of succubi using the earthbound um, philosophy from the game. So the first thing I wanted to do was to put together my leader and put together uh, the devout demon that follows her. Now, of, of course, the, the first thing I do always before I start clipping and cleaning and, and gluing and whatnot, always dry fit the miniature. Okay, I don't care what miniatures you're messing with, whether it's Games Workshop, off-brand, whatever. It behooves you to dry fit first. It may seem fiddly and weird, but honestly, if you put glue on something and you figure out, oh man, I used the wrong piece or this doesn't go there or I put it on backwards, what the case, whatever the case may be, it, it's better just to know ahead of time and go ahead and just, you know, dry fit everything. So, uh, after the dry fitting, I obviously cleaned a couple of mold lines and started working on everything. And, uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and leave you with this for just a moment and I'll be back just just a sec.
so I decided to try something different here. On I saw on uh, Midwinter Minis, uh, they had used just some random household stuff to uh, to make different basing material. So I decided to use the cornstarch and paint method that I saw on the video. So kudos to uh, to Guy and Penny for that. That was uh, I, I like the look of that particular base that they created. So. This is all new for me, um, just kind of like eyeballing it here, just kind of trying to get it at, to the right consistency. And um, it's it literally is just, you know, mixing cornstarch, a little bit of water, and the paint all together and just stirring the hell out of it. Now, initially, um, I, I didn't know what color to use, and then I realized I'm probably going to go ahead and just prime over it and then repaint it. So it, it kind of doesn't matter for me which color that I started with or that even you start with depending on what you're going to do with it. Um, initially my thought was I'm going to go ahead and just use this paste material that it creates on all of the bases because the bases that come with Wrath of Kings all have a divot in them so you can you know you can put resin in them or you can put like different terrain features in there so this mixture is very sticky so I ended up having to just kind of slop it in there and normally for texture uh, texture paint that's what you want to do anyway because you you kind of need it to uh, to be a little thick if you want the crackling to happen um, so what I did here of course as you can see is is I just kind of slopped a bunch in there and then uh, pushed it around a little bit made some different ridges and some you know different areas make it look like hopefully some sort of hellscape um, and then uh, tamped it all down and smoothed it out cleaned the edge of the edges of the bases and left it dry so uh, it actually turned out pretty good in my opinion uh, you definitely do not want to use a good brush for this and uh, I, as you see I'm actually using just a um, a coffee uh, a plastic coffee uh, container to mix it all in because I'm just gonna throw away what's left over afterward including said plastic spoon and whatnot so this is what it looks like before it dries off nothing special now as you can see on the ruler there uh, it has dried and it has also begun to crackle so I, uh, what I did is I've painted, I put a couple of the, uh, the units in the bases and uh, I just kind of slopped it around the edges of their feet. But in the end, what I decided to do is go back to an old favorite of mine and use cork. So I took a cork sheet and I ripped some pieces off and, you know, used my glue and put some cork and some of the, uh, uh, the mixture in there to uh, round it out. And I hope hopefully it's going to look good it looks pretty good so far um but uh we'll see as things progress So as you can see, this is the finished product. I still have to wait for the uh, basing material to dry, but I think it turned out pretty good. So um, I do plan on painting them soon, but for now, like and subscribe, and uh, I hope you'll return. Thank you.